A holiday company hires bicycles, but records they are suffering 31 punches per month, assuming that these punches occur at a constant rate and, independently of each other, use a suitable approximation to estimate the probability that in any given month there will be more than 40 punches. OK, so we define what the variable is going to be. So let x be a random variable, the number of punches recorded per month. x uh, follows a Poisson distribution of, 30, of a mean of 31. And using a normal approximation, because it says you have to do that, uh, use a suitable approximation, using a normal approximation, then we know if x is Poisson, distributed Poisson lambda, then x can be approximated by normal lambda comma square root of lambda squared. Now we write square root of lambda squared because when we standardise we'd like to use the square root of lambda. So x will be normally distributed 31 because the mean is 31 square root of 31 squared. We are required to find the Poisson, um, sorry, probability of x being bigger than 40, we have to apply a continuity correction, so we need the probability that x is bigger than 40.5. And using standard normal tables, z belonging to normal 0, 1, and then use this to standardise each one, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, this is why you need to use the square root of 31. Then z will be bigger than 40.5 minus 31 over the square root of 31, where probability of z being bigger than 1.706. Just write that down again. We use the, I like to draw the diagram. So uh, this is 0. This The standard deviation is 1. 1 1.706 is over here draw a line there and we shade that area and we're finding that probability so from the tables we'll need to do 1 minus this bit okay if we look up on in the tables at 1.71 we're going to get 1 minus 0 0.9564 which is 0 0.0436 to three significant figures However, if we go to the probability calculator in GeoGebra, we've set it up already, we've got a Poisson 31 uh, more than or equal to 41, because we want we don't want to include 40 because there's more than 40, we get 0 Therefore, the probability x is greater than 40 is 0 0.0487. So when you really get agreement to, uh, we get agreement to two significant figures, well, not really, because that would be 0 0.05 and this is 0 0.04. We'll get rough agreement. But as the question says, use an approximation, this is what you must give as the answer and going through this process, not using any sort of technology. Okay, I hope you've understood. This has been a video to show you how to do the uh, normal approximation to the Poisson distribution using a practical example. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.